am Shiva, Faculty of Physics. In this episode, we are going to deal with an important topic that is heat generation in C circuit. C circuit means capacitor circuit. Okay, before going to explore this topic, let us recall some basic ideas behind the topic. So, first key idea here electric potential difference that is delta V between any two points in the circuit. So how can we define the electric potential difference or voltage between any two points in the circuit in this manner that is delta V by Q otherwise minus W E by Q otherwise plus WBA by Q. Okay. So what is what do you mean by here delta V? Delta V is voltage. Okay. So now I am saying electric potential difference. Na? In short, we can say delta V as voltage. Delta Q, what do you mean by delta U? Change in potential energy. Okay. So change in potential energy that one we can say with that name delta E. So again here you are saying W E. Na? So what do you mean by W E here? Work done by work done by electrostatic force. Okay. So work done by the electrostatic force we are defining as part here W E. Again we are seeing here W E. Na? So WBA indicates work done by applied force, work done by applied force or external force. Generally this work done by the applied force or external force due to what? Battery. Okay. Now see this definition again. Electric potential difference delta V is equal to change in the potential energy per unit charge. In order to move the charge between two points in the circuit as well as negative of the work done by the electrostatic force per unit charge. In order to move the unit charge from one point to another point in the circuit as well as WA nothing but work done by the applied force per unit charge. In order to move the unit charge from one point to another point in the circuit. Suppose if you want to define the potential value at any particular point in the circuit, how can you define it? In order to define the potential at any particular point in the circuit, we will utilize the concept of reference configuration. Reference configuration nothing but the value of the potential at the particular point in the circuit we will assume as zero. Okay? In generally, the zero potential point will assume at negative terminal, but it is not mandatory. We are allowed to assume the zero potential at any reasonable point according to our situation. Suppose here we are assuming V is equal to zero as well as U is equal to zero. At that time, in that circuit, how can we define the absolute potential or simply potential. Absolute potential or simply we can say potential at any particular point in the circuit can be defined as potential energy per unit charge. Otherwise, negative of the work done by the electrostatic force per unit charge. Otherwise, work done by the applied force per unit charge. So remember, absolute potential value is can be obtained with the help of what configuration that is reference configuration at reference configuration generally what we can assume v value we can assume zero so in generally this v is equal to we can assume zero at what terminal in generally we will assume at negative terminal of the EMF source. Okay, so this is two K ideas. How can you define electric potential difference as well as absolute potential difference in the given circuit? Okay, 
Now come to the situation. This is uh, one more key idea here. This is some part of the circuit. In that part of the circuit, you are seeing one resistor. Through this resistor, assume I current now passes there. So in general, the current how we can define the rate of flow of charge? Now? Nothing but if BQ amount of current is flowing through any given cross section of the wire per second, then that BQ by dB only we can define as current. Now in this case, how we can define? Suppose I am assuming BQ amount of charge is flowing, so it will become BQ by dB. So current always flows from higher potential VA to lower potential VB. Nothing but V A indicates higher potential, V B indicates lower potential. Okay. Now according to the Ohm's law, according to the so Ohm's law, what we can write now? So we can write as V is equal to I R. V is equal to I R. Where V is the voltage or potential difference across the resistor. I is the this is constant current. Okay, this current now I am assuming DC current, direct current as well as constant current. That's why I is constant. R is the resistance of the resistor in the circuit. Suppose if you want to show V in terms of V A and V B, how we can write it? Now we can write it V A minus V B is equal to I R. So in this case, what is V A? So V A again we can write as V A is equal to V B plus I R. Nothing but the potential at A is more than the potential at B by what value I R. Remember, V indicates V A minus V B. Okay. So don't think this is potential. Think this one as what potential difference. Especially you are using this relation for the calculation of the potential difference across the resistor. Now see here one more key idea. Now assume we have one capacitor. That capacitor is already charged to the Q value with the help of the battery. Nothing but the potential difference across the battery now equal to the Potential difference across the plates of capacitor. Already we know from the electrostatics in our eighth standard. So whenever you are seeing any charge, like a positive uh, sign, then automatically we can conclude that positive charge is source of higher potential. And whenever you are seeing negative charge, that negative charge is the source of Lower potential. That's why we are what we can conclude. So V A, V A is the potential for the plate that is having plus Q. So plus Q indicates this plate is lying at higher potential. Nothing but this point of what we are seeing V A also lying at higher potential. Similarly, this plate now lying at charge minus Q. Minus Q indicates now this one, this plate is lying at lower potential. Automatically, V B also lying at lower potential. So that's why here what we can conclude: V A minus V B is equal to charge on the positive plate. This is positive plate, na? That is lying at higher potential, na? Charge on the plate lying at higher potential. That is Q by C. This V A minus V B simply we can write again here. V is equal to Q by C. Okay. So means potential difference across the resistor I R. Potential difference across the plates of capacitor Q by C, where Q is the charge of the plate lying at higher potential. C is the capacitance of the capacitor. Okay. Next we are dealing with one simple circuit where we are seeing. Device one, device two, device three are connected as shown in the figure. Remember, electric potential in the given circuit can change only whenever during the.
cameras of that circuit, we encounter one electronic device. In the absence of the electronic device, the absolute potential is same at each and every point. Suppose here I am assuming the potential is V1. Okay. Now I am looking in this manner. Any electronic device here? No, no. Here also what is the potential V1? Here also there is no electronic device. Here also potential V1. But whenever you are crossing this electronic device one, the electronic device may be anything. TV, bulb, fan, whatever may be. Whenever you are crossing that electronic device one, at that time this potential changes from V1 to V2. Again you can move further. Still here also what is that potential V2? Why you are not seeing you know, uh, no electronic device na, in this part. In the absence of electronic device, no change in potential. That's why here also V2. Up to here also no change. Still V2. But here again you are seeing one electronic device now. Uh, that one I labeled as device 2. After crossing this device 2, that potential again changes to V3. So in this case also, so here also V3, here also V3, up to here also still part V3 only. Again you are crossing this electronic device 3, this one suppose will become V4, here also V4. Simply to say, in the absence of electronic device, no change in potential. Potential changes only whenever you are crossing the electronic device during the traverse of circuit. Okay. So these are the basic key ideas. With the help of these key ideas, now we can try to understand heat generation in the capacitor circuits. First of all, before going to discuss this part, so as you know here, we have seen one circuit where capacitor with capacitance C, resistor with resistance R connected in series to the battery. Initially, the switch is open. Okay? At that time, there is no current in the circuit. Suppose, I am closing the switch here. Okay? So, whenever I am closing the switch, what will happen? Battery will send some current. Huh? So, this is uh, DC source. Huh? Battery is an example for DC source. That's why the that battery will provide the DC current. Say, battery is providing I amount of DC current. Battery is providing I amount of DC current. So, according to the key area that we discussed here, okay, according to the key area that we discussed here, now what we can write? If this is potential difference we I am saying here, now this positive terminal I am assuming V. Now reference configuration here for this potential I am taking 0 for negative terminal. So V minus 0 is still what? V only. Suppose if this plate at V, this point also lying in what potential? V only. So this point also V. Similarly, whenever you can arrive here, this point also lying at what potential? V potential only. Suppose this negative terminal we are assuming na, lying at zero potential. If this negative terminal lying at zero potential, this part also at zero volt only. So this plate of the capacitor also lying at what zero volt only. Okay. So that's why here what we can conclude since initially suppose I am saying this one T is equal to zero seconds. T is equal to zero seconds is the time when you are just closing the switch. At the time of just closing the switch, there is no charge on the plate of capacitor. If there is no charge on the plate of capacitor, according to this equation, if Q is equal to 0, V is equal to 0. If Q is equal to 0, V is equal to 0, nothing but VA is equal to VB, nothing but on both sides of the capacitor, we have same potential. Suppose V, B, I am taking 0, B, A also 0. That's why here you are seeing 0 volt, here also same na, 0 volt. Okay? This is the situation happens to the capacitor 
immediately after closing the switch now observe carefully as time going on going on increases there what will happen this battery will remove some charge from this negative from this plate connected to the negative terminal this plate now connected to the negative terminal na due to this the battery will remove some charge from this plate connected to the negative terminal and this battery will do some work in order to send this charge to the this plate connected to the positive terminal nothing but for this plate charge is continuously losing this plate now losing the charge continuously why battery was taking the charge away from this plate then? so at that time only this battery was supplying the charge to this plate nothing but charge on this plate continuously decreasing but the charge on this plate is continuously increasing now assume yourself at time t now we are talking at time t this battery takes q amount of charge from this plate connected to the negative terminal and given to the plate connected to the positive terminal now this is one more circuit here i am showing say this is the circuit now we are taking at time t okay at time t what happens now battery done some work why battery here done some work it was remove some charge from this plate connected to the negative terminal and given to the plate connected to the positive terminal suppose i am assuming battery was supply q amount of charge to the plate connected to the positive terminal nothing but this plate to this q amount of charge this plate now gains q amount of charge that's why now here i am writing this is minus q this is plus q here one more important point you need to remember battery won't create any charge okay just battery will redistribute the charge from the plate connected to the negative terminal to the plate connected to the positive terminal okay now here again what is the potential here now here zero sorry here this is b if this is b means this is also b only as well as previously we assumed a reference configuration for this negative terminal is zero here if this is zero this is also zero but according to the definition of uh, potential difference between the plates of parallel plate capacitor we know va minus cv is equal to q by c so this one v we already have taken here zero nothing but va will become q by c that's why so what is the value for the potential here this is q by c okay now in this situation also current is flowing this is i now. so what is the value for i here so this is higher potential v this is lower potential q by c higher potential v lower potential q by c now in order to calculate the current we use this formula v is equal to i r v again we can think as higher potential minus lower potential now apply this formula here what we can write i is equal to for the circuit i is equal to higher potential v minus lower potential q by c divided by resistance r okay observe here carefully as time passes on as time passes on q on the plate of the capacitor increases as q increases i decreases okay i decreases implies the rate at which the charge increases on the plates of capacitor is decreases but charge is still increasing but the rate at which the charge increases on the plates of capacitor that is only decreases means we will expect one situation where the i in the current becomes zero okay so this is the circuit we are seeing at time t na this circuit will continue going on going on na means this battery will remove the charge continuously from this plate 
and add to display. This process will repeat for the long time. Whenever this process repeats for long time, Q they continuously increasing. Rate at which the Q added to the plates of capacitor that is decreasing, but Q still increasing. That's why here, as Q increases, this uh, denominator, uh, this numerator now, they decreases. I also decreases. If there may be one situation where we can assume, definitely I will become zero. So whenever I will become zero, at that time then what we can say? V is equal to Q by C. So whenever V will become Q by C, at that time there is no current across resistor. Why? Suppose here you are seeing V, na? so this is also V only. So this is Q by C, Q by C only what number is V? So this is also V. Okay. So in this situation, in this situation, if this is V, here again this is 0. So 0 again here, no electronic device, this is also 0. Nothing but the potential difference across the plates of capacitor. Now what here V means this plate has received how much amount of charge plus C V. This plate was received how much amount of charge that is minus CV means what we can conclude during the process of charging, during the process of charging of the capacitor, after long time this plate will become positively charged by the sum plus CV, this plate become negatively charged by the sum minus CV. At that time only you are seeing there is no role of this resistor. Why? Across the resistor, potential difference 0, V, V, potential difference 0. Potential difference 0 means there is no current in the circuit. Nothing but what we can conclude here, in the absence of, uh, <coughs> still, we can treat now the situation as steady state. So, what is the name for the state? The state now we can say with that name, steady state. Steady state nothing but? The situation where the capacitor becomes fully charged and the resistor existing in this circuit becomes ineffective. Nothing but only capacitor takes the complete job. That's why here what we can conclude? Resistance have no role, but still we have resistance in the circuit. But while drawing the circuit diagrams further, always we can assume the circuit reaches steady state and resistance explicitly we are unable to show but still there we have resistance that resistance will do what job the resistance will do the job from t is equal to 0 to this steady state it will generate some amount of heat energy why from here to here charge is flowing through the circuit na? that's why some part of the energy given by the battery is turned into what type of energy? Potential energy. That is, uh, some part of the energy turned into potential energy of the capacitor and remaining part there turned into heat energy due to the resistor. Now, let us try to calculate how much amount of heat energy generated in the circuit, okay, when the capacitor circuit is reaches in what state? Steady state. Now look at this circuit. So previously we had seen one capacitor. The capacitor having the capacitor C, it is connected to the battery. Battery is maintained at the potential V. Initially the switch is not closed. Okay? When the switch is not closed initially, what is the potential difference across the plates of capacitor? Potential difference across the plates of capacitor is 0. Since the potential difference across the plates of capacitor is 0, charge of the plates of the capacitor is also 0. Why? No potential difference. Na. We know Q is equal to Cv. Na. V0. Since V0, Q also 0. Now, we are closing the switch. Assume here, I am not showing any resistor, but still what you can think in your mind, resistor is present like this. This circuit indirectly 
behaves like this only na here resistor i am not showing why this circuit i am assuming after closing the switch reaches steady state in steady state it is no need it is not necessary to draw resistor but still we have the resistor as shown in this figure okay now come back to this figure so initially there is no charge that is zero pull here also zero pull now we are closing the switch and uh, this capacitor reaches what state steady state this plate which is connected to the positive terminal receives how much amount of charge plus cv and this plate connected to the negative terminal of the battery receives how much amount of charge minus cv nothing but how we can visualize is battery will do some work and it will remove cv amount of charge from this plate and it gives cv amount of charge to this plate this plate is receiving cv amount of charge this plate is uh, losing cv amount of charge okay here before closing the switch what is the potential energy stored between the plates of capacitor before closing the switch there is no voltage na no, between the plates of capacitor that's why here what we can write half into cv square it will become half into c into zero square it will become zero joule after closing the switch whenever that capacitor reaches the steady state as we described here potential difference across the plates of capacitor will become v at that time what is the electrostatic potential energy stored between the plates of capacitor this is simply half cv square now observe carefully previously no charge na no? zero okay previously no charge here zero but after closing the switch what we are seeing now here this plate is used cv amount of charge this plate now lost cv amount of charge nothing but through the battery how much amount of charge here passes this is negative terminal this is positive terminal na this is we can assume as zero volt this one we can assume as b volt now cv amount of charge passes through this battery from negative terminal to positive terminal nothing but what is the work done by the battery so this is only in the t point we labeled as here this one w a okay at that time that when i mentioned now work done by the applied force in our case the work done by the applied force is due to the battery battery only there doing some work in order to give some energy to the charge flowing through it now utilize that formula now what we can write wa is equal to delta v into q what is delta v this is vi zero vf v vf minus vi will become v as well as amount of charge passes here cv na it will become cv so totally it will become cv square so battery was given how much amount of energy cv square amount of energy given by the battery to the charge flowing through it but out of that cv square only half cv square you are seeing stored in the form of electrostatic potential energy between the plates of capacitor now where the remaining half cv square total cv square na half cv square between the plates of capacitor now where the remaining half cv square the remaining half cv square we are seeing in the form of heat energy that heat energy now can be calculated h is equal to total energy supplied by the battery plus initial energy that is ei minus ef okay so here what is the work done by the battery now for us this is ef minus ei and actually we can write in this pattern work done minus okay so what is ef ef now you are seeing as this is final okay minus this is initial ei now again what we can write here w 
minus EF plus CF. Okay. So W how much amount CV square? What is EF? EF you have seen half CV square. This is half CV square. It will become half CV square. Nothing but heat generated in this circuit is half CV square. So out of total CV square energy supplied by the battery, so half CV square stored between the plates of capacitor and remaining half CV square we are seeing in the form of heat energy. So remember this expression carefully. This expression only will use in order to calculate the amount of heat generated in the circuit where H is the heat generated in the capacitor circuit, W is the work done by the battery or amount of energy supplied by the battery, EF, uh, total amount of the energy stored in the, stored between the plates of capacitor finally, this one initially. Okay students, I hope you understood this lecture well. In the next session, we will meet with one more new concept. Thank you for watching.